Good morning guys, another new day and we're gonna go for a ride. Get our bodies going. Yay! You ready? I'm getting ready. I am pretty ready. Pretty ready. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so we just finished a ride with Banana Girl. And here we got some bananas. Thanks, Ness, for picking them up. Got some nice cabin this year. Organic. Not really ripe yet, but soon. Good. Oh. Yeah. Got some breakfast. Yeah, so it's like 12 mangoes here. It's like breakfast. Feels really good eating raw. Feels really light in the morning when I wake up. And I have a lot of energy to work out and that's all I want, you know. When I do my workout I can get strong when I go to climb the mountains. It's good. Thanks. And some water bottle. Every morning I take a cold shower as cold as I can. Wakes me up and it makes me feel good. I've been raw now for three weeks, yeah? It's three weeks. And I feel really good, like... Like, I feel good when I eat cooked food too, but this is like a little bit next level. Yeah, 12 mangoes. So let's dig in. Mmm. They're good, but I got Okay. Yeah, these ones are really good. Nice. Like a chimpanzee, they eat between between 95 to 99 percent of the diet from plant plants. Like 95 is in a period when there's low access to fruit and other food, and I, and 99 is like when they have access to fruit and plants and other foods they want to eat. The average American eats about 3.7 kilo meat per week. And when chimpanzees eat most uh, like meat, eat about 1.7 kilo, if, if you correct for weight, like that, the average chimpanzee weighs about uh, 60 kilo, and the average American male weighs about 80 kilo. So if I correct for that, humans still eat twice as much, twice a little bit more than a chimpanzee does when it eats its like high high protein like uh, season of the year the average american eats about 640 pounds of dairy product a year 640 and humans are the only species on earth that eats like milk from another mammal this is a, and we eat so much of it you know bears and other omnivores or carnivores they don't get atrocious sclerosis because their body has a system that works a different way so they don't get those lifestyle diseases that humans have and it is, it is it's a lifestyle disease it's not that everyone is gonna have cancer everyone is gonna die of a heart attack it's just not natural for it it's not natural it's not like it shouldn't be that way it's normal but it shouldn't be that way yeah like I might eat cooked food in a few weeks or whatever, like no, no! <laughs> Phoenix, no. <laughs> no, I, no, I mean, I, I still feel really good when I eat potatoes, like especially potatoes, potatoes or like some cooked broccoli, cooked spinach, some fresh lettuce. I love sweet potato because it's sweet. I just love sweet stuff. So I just, yeah, I just eat sweet potato. I don't really like white potato that much. A sweet potato is so much better for me and sweet potato also have like more antioxidants 
the white potato. But white potato is still good. It still has a lot of with the vitamin C and other vitamins. And you know, like the the people who live the longest in the world, they eat most of the calories from sweet potato, and eat 95 percent of their food from plant foods. So five percent from animal products. It's just nothing. And eat the most calories from like sweet potatoes and some of their calories from beans. Now other calories from like vegetables and fruit. Just eat what makes you feel good and stay strong because now I'm gonna dig in deeper.